when you guys want it, it is awesome and it's so fun to watch and you guys are great. The saying goes, if you love something, set it free. But those seven words don't apply for Marquette Hockey. Okay, 20 minutes, you guys decide what happens here, right? You guys want it, you got the stuff, let's go. Will Jurgensen is in the midst of his third season behind the bench for the Golden Eagles. And for him, Marquette Hockey was something that he just couldn't let go of. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't take it very seriously at that point in time. I think that was April. Um, about trying to you know take over the head coaching position, but you know I think that a month went by or something, and I just kind of within myself was like you know that would be something that I would really love to do. I mean I love hockey, I love to be a part of the game, and you know for me the next step is coaching. Before coaching at Marquette, Jurgensen skated for four years, serving as the captain from his sophomore year onward. It was a huge honor uh, from our coach to to put on me. I was very excited about that, but at the same time kind of took it as a personal responsibility to, to try and make sure the team kept progressing forward. Despite having no prior coaching experience, Jurgensen has already turned some heads. His teams have won two Matcha Conference Championships, and this year they are headed to the ACHA National Tournament. Feels very good. Very good. Yeah, it's exciting. It's very exciting. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's been three years, you know, or four years, you know, since we've been back. So, I mean, you know, as, to be able to go back as a coach, it's, uh, it's awesome. But of course, no man can do it alone. Petey's been with the team, you know, as a player and as a coach for you know over a decade. Twelve years to be exact. Peter Shutt, Jurgensen's assistant, has been the epitome of dedication for the Golden Eagles. You know, my last year, um, the the coach reached out to me um, and asked if I would help um, um, be a part of the team going forward. So um, right away that next year, I was helping out again at tryouts and, and being an assistant coach. Not only does coaching a team give Jurgensen and Shutt the chance to continue being involved with the game they love, but it also provides them with practical experience. Uh, with coaching, I mean, there's a lot of parallels into the industry. I mean, even, you know, looking at uh, business applications, um, supervising uh, people in, in a business role and trying to, to motivate and, and create a team atmosphere and, and team chemistry is, uh, you know, very, um, valuable you know, experience to gain. From playing for the Golden Eagles to coaching them to a national tournament, the experience has been nothing other than rewarding for them, and the future seems bright for Marquette. I'd like to think that uh, we're on the up. You know, I think that moving up to D2 next year is a great step in the right direction. Uh, to be honest, for us, it's, it's about you know, trying to continue that balance between being a club hockey team and, and you know, I mean, we, we all go to a very strongly academic school. So, you know, we got to continue to find that balance, but, you know, we want to only get better. Um, we want to compete. We want to continue to compete against, you know, a lot of these great teams uh, throughout the country. Let's go for the boys right away. Let's go, boys. We are Marquette. At the Ponds of Brookfield, I'm Kellen Buddy, Marquette Wire Sports.